today I'm going to do a video about SE alternatives and I've called it that because some of them are SE nail polish dupes, the colours are exactly the same but some of them are a little bit different and they're kind of just alternative colours that are similar, just as nice but slightly different. As you guys know I love SE nail polishes, I have done since I was really young, I used to buy them before they came to Boots and Superdrug when they were, I think they started as about £13 and then they went down to £10. I really like them. I know some people say that they chip, but I get on really well with them and I love the colours and I just have a huge collection. So I thought it might be a nice idea to show you some alternative brands that do very similar colours. And I have 10 nail polishes here to show you, so I'm going to get started because this might take a while. So the first one I have is Essie Saint Tropez and I bought this when I bought Topless and Barefoot. I think I bought them together about two years ago and it's a really nice nude, quite a light coloured sandy nude. And the drugstore alternative I have to go with this is one of the Barry M Jelly Shines and I've got a lot of these in this video because they're just so good and they come in such nice colours. And this one is in Lychee which is pretty much exactly the same colour. Lychee is slightly darker than Essie Saint Tropez but they're really similar. I love the Barry M Jelly Shines and the quality is so good and they're so thick um, so I'd really recommend getting this because this is only £3.99 compared to Saint Tropez which I don't know if they do this colour in the boots and Superdrug collection, so this could still be 9 95 If not, then the ones in Boots are 7 99 so um, they're not that expensive anymore. But 3 99 is such a bargain compared, and the colours are exactly the same. The next SE nail polish I have is Merino Cool, and I love this one. I just think it's so smart and chic. It's kind of like a taupey colour. Um, it's quite dark on the nails, but really, really pretty. And this is a sort of business meeting colour, I think. And the drugstore version I have to compare is Fashionista Rhythm. And Fashionista is a brand you can get in Superdrug in the UK. I don't know if they're sold anywhere else, sorry. Um, I'll have a look online. But you can get them in Superdrug and super, super cheap. They do really nice blushes and eyeshadows as well. But these colours are really similar. Merino Cool is slightly, slightly darker, but they're really, really similar. Obviously, I think the quality of SC is much better compared to Fashionista. But if you're just looking for colour, then this is a good alternative. I paint my nails sort of every other day. So for me, the quality of the nail polish isn't that important because I'm going to just redo my nails anyway. But if you're the sort of person who likes good quality nail polish, then I think in most cases, SC version is better than the drugstore, but I'll let you know. If not. And the next polish is Essie Tarte Deco. I absolutely love this one. It's like a really, really light coral with slightly peachy tone in it. Um, I always get compliments when I wear this one. It's the perfect kind of spring summer polish. And the drugstore one I have to compare is another Barry M Jelly, and this one is called Papaya. I think the Barry M Jellies are just all really Essie kind of colours. I have quite a few, like I said, in this video, but these are really, really similar. The Essie one is slightly, slightly darker, but Seriously, they're so similar. I'd definitely go for the 3 99 one over the 7 99 one. But you can get Tarte Deco in the Superdrug and Boots range. But yeah, these are really, really similar and I love this colour. The next Essie polish I have is Lilacism and this one is such a blogger colour. Everyone has it. I think it's just a really, really pretty lilac as the name suggests. Another really nice spring summer colour and I love this one. It's kind of quite unique I think. I don't have a lot of lilacs so I really enjoy wearing this one. And the drugstore alternative I have is a new one from Model Zone. I think these are £5. Most Model Zone polishes are. I'll have a check. If this one's more expensive I'll let you know. But it's from their scented range and it's called Grape Juice and it's a really nice colour. So the thing with these polishes they're meant to smell. So this one's meant to smell like grape juice and you can scratch at the top and have a little sniff and that smells like grape but I'm not so sure that the polish actually smells of grape I gave it quite a big sniff and then felt a bit sick from all the chemicals but these two are really similar again Essie's a tiny bit darker Model Zone one's about £5 Essie's about 7 99 so it's not a huge difference um, but the Model Zone one is scented apparently so if you're into that kind of thing then go for the Model Zone but yeah that's quite a good dupe there the next one isn't so much a dupe and it's for Essie Mint Candy Apple um, this is my all-time favourite nail polish. It's just the best mint coloured polish ever. I have two of these because I was so worried about running out. I have one of the old versions and one of the new version. And um, there are lots of mint nail polishes out there. So if you want one that's exactly the same, it's so easy. Just Revlon will have one, Rimmel will have one. They all have them. But I wanted to talk about this one today because I am a huge fan. And this is the Bourgeois. It's a So Lac Glossy, which I think is a new launch for them. And the colour is 04 Amand de Fille. The f oh, I hate French names, something like that. And I'm wearing this today, I've been wearing it in my past few videos. I love it, it's more of like a true mint colour. Um, 
but SE Mint Candy Apple is more of a bluey mint, but I just love the Bourjois colour so much that I wanted to mention it. And the Bourjois one's £6, so it's only kind of a couple of pounds cheaper than SE, but I really, really like the sort of greeny mint to it, and I've just been addicted to it recently. So that's a nice alternative if you want to go for something a bit different, because everyone wears Mint Candy Apple. The next SE polish is Lapis of Luxury, and I love this one. I feel like this is a bit underrated. People don't talk about it that often, but it's a really nice blue, and it's kind of a purpley blue. It's just a bit different to your average blue and I really, really like it. This is one of the new ones. Um, yeah, Lapis of Luxury, I love that colour. And the alternative I have to that is another Barry M Jelly, and this one is in Blueberry, which I've already spoken about in a couple of my videos. I love the colour, but it's pretty much exactly the same. The Barry M one's slightly brighter this time. Um, very similar shades, but Barry M is a little bit more like a pop of colour. But they're really similar, and I think, again, for 3 99 these polishes are amazing. They're such a good deal. Next up is Essie Cute as a Button, and this is one of their most popular polishes I think I always see people talk about it and it's a really pretty pinky coral it's definitely got more pink in it than orange um I really really love this and another spring summer amazing color but I do wear this all year round I seem to wear summer colors all year round anyway the alternative I have is from Bourjois and this is one of their no chip polishes and it's a number 25 these are 5.99 so compared to Essie's 7.99 the color is identical I did a blog post on this like a year ago I'll try and find it and link it below but seriously these are so similar they're exactly the same and I actually even though there's not a huge price difference I really like the Bourjois it goes on really thick um, just with like one coat you don't even need two coats and the brush is kind of short and angled so I really like applying this actually I'm really impressed with these no chip Bourjois nail polishes um, and the colour match is just exactly the same. Next up is Essie Glamour Purse, um, which I really like the name for this one. This is quite similar to a couple of other Essie nail polishes that I have. It's kind of a browny grey colour. I'd say like a light brown and um, even though I wouldn't normally pick a brown nail polish, I think this does look really smart and when I wear it I always really like it. I just forget to wear it that often. But I'm going to compare this to Topshop Big Smoke. And these aren't really dupes, they're quite different really. SC is definitely a lot darker and um, Topshop Big Smoke is more kind of light grey. But they're similar sorts of things. So if you want something similar and you're struggling to find an exact dupe, then I would recommend this Topshop one. I love Topshop nail polishes, I think they're really good quality. And they're £5, which is a pretty good deal, I think. Um, there's so many colours to pick from and I have loads of Topshop nail polishes, so I'd recommend going and having a look. And yeah, these two are quite similar. Next is Essie Splash of Grenadine, and this colour just makes me smile. I call this like the Barbie pink. It's kind of a pinky purple, it just reminds me of Barbie. I love it. I don't wear it that often, I don't really wear pinks that often, but when I do it always makes me feel happy and summery and really pretty colour, I think. And I'm comparing this one to Model's Own um, Lilac Dream. Um, these again aren't exact dupes, you can see the Essie one's a lot more pink and the model zone's a lot more purple, but they have similar kind of tones to them and they're both kind of pretty pinky purples, so I thought I'd throw them into this video. I do like model zone nail polishes, I don't think they're the best quality, but like I said I paint my nails so often it doesn't really matter if they chip after a couple of days. But yeah, those are both pretty pinky purple colours. And finally, Essie Bikini Sotini. All the bloggers went crazy over this nail polish when it came out. Um, I don't know what it is about it. It's kind of a purpley blue. It reminds me of Lapis of Luxury a little bit. They're really quite similar actually. Bikini Sotini's slightly lighter. It also has this like crazy shimmer going through it, which I didn't really realise when I bought it. I do find this one quite hard to apply. Um, the second coat kind of goes on a different colour to the first, so I'm always a bit mm, about this one. And I'm comparing this one to Rimmel London Pro Professional Finish 420 Aqua Cool, and that's this one. And I'd actually recommend this one over Essie because this Bikini Sotini, I don't know what it is about it, but it just applies funny, and the Rimmel Pro nail polishes are really good and apply really nicely. And the colour's really similar. The Rimmel one doesn't have the shimmer running through it, but in terms of like the purpley bluey colour, I think they're really similar. And the Rimmel one is about £4.59, well, that's what it is at Boots, um, compared to the £7.99 SE, so it's quite a good deal, and I think the Rimmel nail polishes are really good quality. So that's all 10 nail polishes, I hope you liked seeing them, and I hope it kind of helped you if you wanted to get some alternative nail polishes to SE, because I know everyone has SE, they're not that cheap, they're not really that easy to get hold of, so hopefully that helped you a little bit. Thank you for watching, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!